I hate that part. I hate that part. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know about you, but myself and a lot of people in my life right now are having a really tough time. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde. I don't know if it's just the baggage from the past two years, but everybody's kind of in just this really weird period of not knowing what's next and being stressed out including myself, like I said. So I thought that I would make a video about some habits that you can incorporate into your daily life to make sure that you're staying on the right track even when you're having a tough time. I personally struggle with depression and anxiety. I know a lot of people that also do, and I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate to this video. So I have five habits that I incorporate into my life daily that help me keep going even on the days that I don't wanna keep going. Number one is to work out. This is so ingrained into who I am and how I live my life that I will literally make sure that my schedule allows for it. A couple days a week I go to CrossFit and then a couple days I also go to the regular gym. About five days in total I do like actual gym workouts and then two days I'll do just like a hike. Now this also depends on what my work schedule is like. Obviously as a working musician that is four to eight hours on my feet. <laughs> which can take a toll on my body, so it really depends. Working out releases endorphins and dopamine and all the chemicals in your brain that make you happy. And it's really important, especially if you're going through a tough time or if you're dealing with depression. Honestly, even 15 minutes of a good workout can help boost your mood and make you feel better. Believe it or not, working out actually gives you more energy as well. Also, I think a big part of working out is seeing your progress and seeing how much you grow. People love to talk shit about CrossFit, but the thing about CrossFit is the mental component that comes with it. Even when you think you can't keep going, you just keep going one more rep, one more rep, and eventually when you finish the workout, you realize that the whole time you thought you couldn't keep going, your mind was pushing you. Your mind was stronger than your body. Number two is to make sure that you're eating well. You'll feel better, you will save money on food because we all know how expensive it is to go out and eat as opposed to staying home and cooking. If you treat your body like a dumpster and you're eating like chips and cookies and soda all the time, you're not gonna feel good and your body's gonna feel like a dumpster. But if you fuel your body with healthy foods, vegetables, whole grains, carbs, believe it or not, you need carbs. It is the main energy source of fuel for your body. You know, I'm big on like the 80-20. I eat about 80% clean and then yeah, I have cookies sometimes and chips and stuff like that. But for the most part, I try to eat healthy and I know that when I do eat healthy, I feel better. I have more energy, I have clean energy. I'm not crashing. It's important to me to be putting the right food in my body as fuel so that I can do my best at all the things that I'm trying to do. Number three, this one is really good for mental health, but I'm really big on reading and listening to podcasts. Especially in the last two years, I've really gotten into podcasts. Most of them are kind of, I don't wanna say self-help because it's not the right word, but they are motivational. For example, I listen to a lot of Joe Rogan, which is educational and motivational. I do listen to some funny ones by like comedians because I like that kind of stuff. I listen to some Oprah or Brene Brown, but a lot of it just helps with my mindset. It helps to, it helps me kind of cope with any feelings I have. Sometimes you hear something you don't even know you need to hear. And some people don't like to read, I love to read. I don't do large amounts of it at one time. Um, I usually read a chapter or two a day, that's my goal. I don't always get to it, but I feel better on the days that I do. Reading reduces stress, it improves sleep quality, and it can also kind of be an escape. Whether you like to read self-help or whether you like to read actual stories, for that moment, you're kind of just getting away from where you are in your life at that moment. Both reading and podcasts have really helped me with my mindset and my personal growth. In my experience, reading and listening to podcasts is just really good for your personal growth and helping create a really strong mindset. Number four, I think is really underestimated and it's to make sure that you're spending time with your friends and your family. 
If they are toxic, not so much. I know that I feel so much better when I get away for a little while and whether I'm spending time with my boyfriend or my best friend or when I get to go home and be with my sister. You're just taken away from the world for a minute or even like if you're talking about your life, you're getting a different perspective. Or my favorite thing is just to go do something fun. I do music for a living, so I like to do things that are not music related, you know? And sometimes you just gotta kinda go out and, and have fun. I know personally, a lot of my depression has come from not doing fun things. And that is because I work a lot. And I don't have a lot of time for fun things. And then when I do have free time, I honestly just wanna relax because I'm tired. But I know that when I do get it together and I kinda push myself to, you know, even just go to dinner with a friend or go meet a couple friends out for a drink or two, it doesn't have to be a big thing. But I know that when I kinda force myself to do these little things, I feel better. I can feel really down at times. And spending time with other people, you know, going for a walk, just being around other people tends to pick me up. We're social creatures, and I think people really underestimate the value of connection. Hey, before we finish this video, I just wanna remind you guys to subscribe. I am also on TikTok and all the other things. I do have a new venture on Medium. I am starting to write blogs and articles, so you can go catch me there. I will leave the link to all my things below. Last, but definitely not least, and I think also very underestimated, is get enough sleep. Sleeping allows not only your body, but your mind and your brain to recharge. It allows everything to kind of regenerate. Um, it helps you heal. It's really important for brain health. And it also is really important in depression. Sometimes it can go the other way and you can sleep too much, but you're supposed to get seven, eight hours. Anything more than that, you can actually do the reverse damage and make yourself groggy. And I'm also a huge fan of naps. I love naps. I try to take a 20 minute power nap every day. But you really can't be your best self or take care of all the things you have to take care of if you're not resting enough. Thanks so much for watching this video. Comment below and tell me what habits that you incorporate into your daily life or if you're gonna try to incorporate some of these into your life if you don't already. Make sure that you guys go follow me on all the places and I will see you guys next time. Bye.